Seven guards are heading your way. Be careful. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Yes. Sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private... Conversations. Andy? Whoa! Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Holster your weapon, buddy. are stationed up here and below by the card reader As we get an alert we both swipe our cards and good feeling about today i will just wait for the we'll partners to be alone track, then you can activate the room's lockdown We're feature show that little shit edwards the true meaning of power are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. No, but I've known this man for a long time. You wouldn't call us up here without good reason. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. What's the meaning of this? You... You are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence, everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. Get out. 47. Finish it. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. You killed Cobb, Navikov. Caruso, the Washington Twins, everyone at Haven, you broke into a... 
Copper Bank, and you added Providence to the world. All right, that's that then. the other guard is using the bathroom. Well, it's time. So if that should happen, I should be able to run down and activate the other swipe as well. But I guess that will need a little practice. Uh, happy to not be at work tomorrow. Sounds like a lot of running around. It's what we're paid to do. Yeah, and it'll probably never happen. Just like fire drills. Yeah. Just like fire drills. Kyle Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al Ghazali, I think. Thumbs up, mate. Greetings, sir. This'll just take a sec, sir. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous train. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. 
Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's one I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Mr. Looked, I hear you're looking for information. I know more than you could imagine, but we can't talk here. Follow me. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Greetings, sir. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes, here. Good. A good day Our to guest you. will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. Sir. Please, Mr. Ingram. Have a lovely Mr. day. So good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business. How are you, boy? Guess who? 
Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business. Perfect. We have Ingram right where we want him. 47, you know what to do. Just keep going. All right, where were we? Ah, yes. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Good idea. Oh, where was I? It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. I usually... Oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. We've got an individual vomiting. Stand by. Damn. Oh, easy now. Don't blow a fuse. Seven, you know what to do. Finally get Hold it! Carl oh. Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. My man here will stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Make yourself comfortable. And as I was saying, it's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, what the hell? Ingram.
Hello, sir. Greetings, sir. Get it out. Spicy paper. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel so good. Local cuisine working out for you? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Working for the hand. At least you make tips. Ruby, When that fateful day finally arrived, Jeffrey, unknown to himself. Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance.
gonna make me look really bad. Hey, server boy, wait a minute. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family. For duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. inquiring about where you were so don't be surprised if he's high maintenance but I'm sure you're used to that it's just a job that's the right attitude you'll fit in fine here understood forty seven I would like to address the Providence partners directly I want them to know why this is happening and I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Mumbai. Ooh, I heard that was uh, a shitstorm. That's real. It's good to see a man like you back in the saddle. Guess that's just our line of work. We can't keep everyone alive. I am sure I can. Okay, that. you must be my new escort. Right there. Very that's Marcus steps. Stuyvesant, Trust Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage okay. to the world than you could dream. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, South. France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. Come on, get copy. I'm at the location now. I expect you to be by my okay. side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Now. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get to where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. Now, that's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, 